Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Erickson TV. Curtis here. Hey, Lauren. Hey, everybody. Uh, Lauren, uh, I had an in interesting call from a client the other night, and we were talking about uh, her investment portfolio and making sure it lasts for retirement. But right. then we started at the tail end of the conversation. It was just when they were having the Florida primary where Romney beat uh, Gingrich. Oh, yes. And there was the, the discussion was, well, what is the impact if uh, you know either Romney, Gingrich, or Obama are elected president, and how that oh, impacts right. the stock market returns? And okay. With, so um, I, I've done this study in the past, and the, and the long-term study is whether a Democrat or a Republican uh, becomes the, the next president, the, the actual returns do, do not show us a distinct pattern of difference, you know, based on you know who becomes the you know whether it's a Democrat. Or oh, a Republican. right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But um, I found this uh, interesting article by a, a gentleman named Matt Kronz from USA Today, and it said, "Are presidential election years bullish for stocks?" So they actually also regardless of who wins, yeah. just is the okay. Yeah, that's. Okay. Um, so are they? Do they? Is there any? Does yeah, there any well, so it's interesting. So you look back. Uh, you look back on the, the some history since 1950. Uh, so we're talking about a 60-year period. Okay. Right? And he said that uh, the S&P 500, uh, you know, basically the U.S. stock market right. has has risen in the final seven months of the year, 13 of the f the past 15 presidential election years. Okay. So. That's a pretty good trend, if, right, yeah, yeah, if that okay. makes if that's even true. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah, assuming his study yeah. is right. So, yeah, exactly. So this. Is, so, the, so then the second question was, well, what happens during the first five months of the presidential election year, so, which we're in right now? Oh, right. Yeah, months. exactly. So, so this this one said, uh, yes, it depends on which candidate win ultimately wins, but that did have some impact on the returns. The problem is you don't know what happens. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, exactly. And so, so you can say, well. Depending on what candidate wins, uh, yeah, that could have some impact on the first five months of the year. But right. we don't know what candidate wins until November. Right. Um, yeah, so, exactly. so um, what happened this past month? Of uh, just this last month of January. Uh, yeah, markets went up. Yeah, I've had a big, big yeah, month. Yeah, it was so, good year. Um, all the markets went up. Right. So, what I what I what I take from this is that trying to trying to uh, mix your portfolio is a really bad idea. Right. Yeah. Uh, based, based on uh, you know presidential election years. What do you take from this? Well, yeah, I, uh, when we do these episodes, oftentimes I don't know what the topic is going to be. So, uh, you know, Curtis kind of surprises me uh, with, the, with the topics. And so I didn't, you know, have this little speech. I didn't give Lauren any kind of yeah, reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't have anything planned coming in. But, you know, there's really no reason, uh, based on basic financial theory, why you would expect that different kinds of presidents winning would affect the markets very much. Right. Uh, the, this is the kind of opinion that maybe hurts, a, or that a lot of people maybe don't like too much. But uh, the truth is, the different presidential candidates are not that different from a basic economic perspective. They're not going to change the basic economic principles of risk and reward and you know all these other kinds of things. In fact, what's really strange is if one president was expected to be worse, the markets might go down before they got elected, but after they got elected, the risk would be higher. Right. So right. you would actually expect higher returns. Now, I don't think anyone should change their portfolios based on this kind of logic. Right. I you know, agree. <laughs> this, yeah. this, yeah. this would be really bad. But I'm just trying to point out that even if you knew these kinds of things, even if one president really was worse than the other, even if, even if, even if, even if you could predict all these things, it's still risk and reward. Right. And and you know, I think and we and one of the things to, take, to finish this episode up is that. It's a really bad idea to make adjustments to your portfolio based on a future event that we don't know. Right. About. Yeah. Exactly. Because all the prices in the portfolio are based on all the knowable information that's right. in the market. So, yeah. So that's take good. it away exactly uh, for our clients that are worried about the upcoming presidential election. Don't worry. You have a, a, a very well built, diversified portfolio, and uh, you don't have to worry about making adjustments based on what happens in a, for a future event. That's right. All right. Exactly. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time on Erickson TV. See you next Bye time. Now.